Hi Libra, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another Love Bite. Let's see what's the message here for you today Libra. And uh, of course these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Okay, so Libra. Ooh, King of Wands in reverse. Ego. Okay. Things are stagnant between the two of you, Libra. Maybe there's been some kind of petty argument or something between the two of you. There's somebody who's um, still being a little arrogant, maybe waiting for attention from their person, saying, I have my ego, I have my pride, I'm not going to be the first one to apologize. I think the other person seems to have given up on them. I don't know. I'm going to clarify these cards. Of course, Libra, before I say something, uh, let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then I'm going to clarify these cards. So, Libra and their person spirit, Libra and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Libra and their person. Libra and their person spirit. Thank you. I'm going to take a few more Libra from another deck and if, no, no, no personal readings. Okay. Uh, Libra and their person. All right. Just a few more Libra from a third deck as well and then we'll start your reading. Libra and their person spirit. Libra and that person. All right, good to go. Let's start your reading. The first card here, Libra says, so embarrassed. I acted foolish and I don't know how to tell you how sorry I am. Right, so they don't have the guts to even come forward and say sorry and their ego and pride is keeping them stuck because they feel what's the point. Like they know what they've done because that's why somebody is so embarrassed. I know that I need to make amends for my mistakes. I'm contemplating how to do this because I want to show you how much you mean to me. I would like you to meet my friends. I want you to be involved in all areas of my life because you are my world and I want everyone to know. Each day I think about how it would be like if we were together. One day, I'll be ready to surrender. Hurting you hurt me even more. Sorry, I did not see your value and worth when we were together. I missed out on something so good. The next person you allow into your life is lucky. I admire you, I care about you, I trust you, I respect you and I love you unconditionally. You are my true love. It drives me crazy when you behave like a spoiled child who takes my love for granted. Yes, I love you unconditionally, um, but I'm not your parent. And quite frankly, your behavior takes the piss at times. You need to act like an adult for our relationship to work. It irritates me that you mock my spirituality when I'm doing everything I can to learn and grow and become a better person. You tease me, you make fun of my beliefs. I find this really hurtful as you're unwilling to even talk with me about them. I get so effing jealous knowing that you are in bed with a karmic at night. I feel sick to my stomach at the thought of you in bed with them. All right, so that's what's happening here. Let's see now what's happening in the reading. But first, of course, uh, Libra, I'm going to start with a, uh, an angel blessing card for you. Let's see what my angels are going to bless you with today. As a blessing, guidance, advice, maybe a message. Okay, and the card I have here for you, Libra, is look deeper. Somebody needs to 
take time out. I think they are. They've gone into some reflection mode to understand why, why the stagnancy has happened, right? So, look deeper. Okay, spirit. What's the what's the page of swords in reverse? What's the page of swords in reverse? Yeah, I think something happened here which destroyed this connection. Some very petty argument, petty fight, maybe gossip, maybe rumors. Something happened which like totally destroyed a beautiful, you know, maybe a soulmate connection or something. And things are absolutely stagnant. It came to a screeching halt after that. King of Wands in reverse. King of Wands in reverse. King of Wands in reverse. Yes, yeah, so I think uh, this is the other person who feels that, who feels that uh, the person I was dealing with was very selfish, very self-centered, very arrogant, very uh, attention-seeking, uh, very pompous. You know, like wanting attention not just from me, but from lots of other people. So I have a feeling that uh, this is the other person, not the King of Wands, the person who's kind of acknowledging that, the, you know, it's best to stop this connection. Maybe they're thinking of going towards maybe a new love in their life, feeling that uh, with this past person who was the king of wands in reverse, mm, there was no emotional happiness. Maybe it's time to walk away from that. And uh, because I don't think uh, they, this king of wands has even come forward with a, an apology or anything like that. So they're saying, yeah, so if that means, you know, this is just a toxic connection, maybe a karmic, uh, you know, relationship, it's time for me to maybe leave it behind. I don't want to be just be a friend or friends with benefits or, you know, be in a situation where they are always listening. Maybe their friends are more important or they're gossiping about me. And I don't want to be in a situation like that. Uh, six of Wands. What's the Six of Wands? Yeah, they are actually seeing their person as very arrogant and very, very, very uh, like an emperor in reverse, you know. It's like very stubborn and um, self-serving and it's always going to be their way or the highway. Still, I mean, they haven't changed their ways. They're still strutting around, I guess, saying, look at me, look at me. That's the reason the other person has now taken a step back. Uh, they've given it a lot of thought, I feel, and come to some kind of conclusion that it's better that I end the situation. Like, put a death to this situation. There's no point waiting around. There's no point keeping my life on hold, you know, always being at crossroads, wondering when they're going to decide, if they'll decide, which direction is this connection going. I think this person, uh, not the king of ones, the other one, is uh, saying, okay, I'm going to choose my own path now. And what, what path is that? Two of Wands in reverse. Okay. Two of Wands in reverse. Okay. To make them make their own dreams and wishes uh, come true. It's like I'm walking away from a person who never gave me any emotional happiness. All these cups were empty. So I'm going to go towards finding my own happiness maybe with new love or just make my own dreams and wishes come true it's come after a lot of time it's not like a been a sudden decision i mean whoever this other person was they have spent a lot of time in you know waiting or uh, thinking or before they've ended this connection and they've come to the the conclusion that yeah that person is never going to change they they haven't yet spoken up when they do speak up it's really arrogant or rude or mean or just selfish or they just don't, don't open up their emotions to me. So things have only been going backwards all this time instead of, you know, moving forward towards peace with them. So the other, this person is saying, okay, now maybe it's time for me to focus on my own happiness. I don't want to be alone in a situation where I'm always crying, always feeling, you know, alone at night. I can't sleep. I'm having nightmares. I, it's time for me to stop even bothering about this connection anymore. So maybe it's time to make my own choices. Nine of swords in reverse. Nine of swords in reverse. Nine of Swords in reverse. It's almost coming to that point where where the Queen of Cups, who's 
the one who's i think been feeling drained out or they feel uh, taken for granted or just feel that their person has uh, you know never reciprocated never filled their cup is finally coming to the point that i have to stop this back and forth when when and if they do come also they are so inconsistent and so you know brash with their words i don't want a connection like that i i don't want to fight for this anymore in fact even if they do come back now i don't even want to spend my energy to stand up to them and fight with them or argue with them because i have a right to make my own decisions now and what what's this the lovers in reverse what's the lovers in reverse yeah a conscious decision that i don't want to argue anymore it's like don't try and trigger me because i'm not interested it's like two people uh, you know like playing a let's say a board game or something and one person is pushing their you know dice forward and saying my turn now your turn and the other person says i don't want to play play on your own right so this person is making a decision that i don't want to fight anymore i don't want to you know compete for your attention anymore i don't want to be part of any drama in your life I am going to put my full focus on making my own dreams and wishes to come true now. So, nine of cups. What dreams and wishes are these? Yeah, I think this person wants commitment in their life. They want to bring back structure in their life. They don't want to have a repeating cycle with somebody who's always lying to them, cheating on them, ghosting them, and then you know after a while maybe turning their turning their face and saying, "Hey, are you going to chase me? Are you going to fight with me?" No, I think what the other person saying, "I'm not going to do this again. I'm sorry. I am calling quits on this." I'm I'm I am turning my back to this. Yeah, I'm turning my back to this. I'm looking for a long-term partnership who will give me commitment. And yes, I'm ready for a passionate brand new beginning. So that's your message for today, Libra. Till next time then. Love and light. Take care. Namaste.